Hi everyone, hope everyone is doing fine today. Here's Abdul and today we have another unboxing. Hopefully a good one this time because in the past I've not had the best uh, experience with Swiss military and all that. But I thought, why not? Um, if you're new to this channel, um, basically I try to get watches, review watches from my collection, get watches like these which are affordable. Uh, for me to be able to uh, buy or, and then resell or in these cases uh, try before you buy this program on Amazon not an affiliated not sponsored or anything and sometimes I even have sponsored material which I always say beforehand and you will always find uh, down below that somewhere it's sponsored anyways coming back to the topic of the day um, unboxing this watch this Swiss Hanuta uh, watch reference number here um, and I'm opening it with this Swiss knife thought it's the best way to open a, a Swiss Hanuta watch is with a Swiss knife right so it's a little bit like uh, yeah. so small package which is not bad close the knife so we don't get hurt let's take it out oh that's a nice uh, that's a nice pouch there as you can see the red one swiss military official licensed product of the swiss confederation swiss swiss Schweiz, Switzer. So with all the uh, the languages spoken in Switzerland, and let's see what is the watch looks like or how does it look like. Ah, that's how it looks like. Ta-da! It does look nice. With the faux, faux patina. Let's take this off. Put it inside. Take a screen grab so we can put a thumbnail with that. And let's get down to business. So what do we have here? We have the cart, my burger service. That's the German service partner. We have the papers for this. We'll leave this for this as well. And we have this here, which definitely we'll have then the reference number which is this one zero six four three four five seven zero four zero zero seven quartz ten atmos so 100 meters water resistance sapphire glass and swiss made so we'll put this aside quite a good package i have to say and it wasn't that expensive it was like 130 euros i'll i'll leave a link in the description for the amazon that i um amazon link that i got it with unaffiliated of course uh, let me take this off put it in the box again so we have everything in the box also this one we can take it off and also put it in the box so we have everything here Maybe this one as well now I think we can see it without taking it off or So it's the same thing that we have here on the back. We have it here. We have red, the red cross also on the crown. So let's let's check for the dimensions and then put it on my wrist. So in diameter we have a forty-one point five, which is it looks much bigger than it is. Fifty lug to lug and 10 millimeters thickness even if even though it's quartz it's a bit thick for quartz and it's flat so really flat so definitely needs a big boy wrist i have a 17.1 centimeter wrist this is the watch that we uh, unboxed before be sure to check out the video from this one say the citizen really nice one 
and here we put on the the strap is actually quite stiff but we'll manage here is the watch on my 17.1 centimeter wrist if you don't know what it is in inches it's 6.69 inches for my uh, American uh, viewers friends and uh, it looks quite nice let me move the hands around so we see the the dial better because we cannot read what's on the dial okay you have on the 12 o'clock under the Swiss Swiss military cross Swiss military Hanover you have here mountaineer land you have a cross on the seconds and you can see the the ticking let's see if it stops yeah it's not that accurate on the stop so it doesn't stop 100% on the indices or on the, at least on the on the chapter ring outside so we have quite a good loom as you can see on the indices on the 12 there is no loom uh, all green loom quite okay I think this is a like I said genuine leather this this mm, I'm not a big fan of it and what's the dimension of the strap I think it's a 20 millimeters actually 21 yeah 22 uh, we'll see anyways but it's it's it looks really bigger than it is like i i'm i'm wearing it and i'm okay with it but it's just just too flat and the the, the hands the the lugs go uh, out too much in my opinion but anyways for someone with bigger wrist i think that will suit you very well and if you like quartz watches i know my friend mario for instance um if you're watching this this is something for you i guess you you would really like this uh, a bit of change from the divers that you have all the um, the quartz diver and the automatic ones but uh, like i said uh, it's okay watch we'll compare it to the other watches which are very similarly priced so you'll be able to make your choice between a quartz and automatic something like this for instance yeah anyways if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section and of course, this is an invitation to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. And hopefully see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.